Well, no single individual has uh, more to do with the upgrade of the interior of the seventh generation car than this man, Brian Vaughn. Thank you, Ted, very much. Thank you, Marlon. Um, so, they've already taken you through kind of the overview of what's going on for uh, model year 16. I'm going to go into some of the details of uh, what's going on with the car from an appearance point of view. So, first up, as Harlan said, our homage to the C7R race car that's had so much success is the C7R Edition Z06. So, this is a special Z06 um, with, with an appearance package on the exterior and interior. It comes in two colors one is the, uh, the new Corvette Racing Yellow as well as black. The black Z06 wheels will have a yellow stripe on it. The car has a lot of really cool details in it. So it's got the yellow stripe on the wheels, yellow calipers. Um, it has an exposed carbon hood. Um, Jake uh, center caps on the, uh, on the wheels. And the uh, exterior vents are, instead of being carbon flash like you would typically see there, spectra gray. So a lot of kind of cool details on the car. Uh, available in a coupe and convertible. It's only going to be 500 of these, so it's a very limited edition, very special car. And you can kind of see the, uh, the, the car both in the uh, Corvette Racing Yellow and the Black. As a graphics package as well, you can see the Jake uh, logo in the uh, Stinger C7R logo on the uh, on the hood on the uh, roof there. On the interior, it comes with a special interior package, which is black leather and black suede, very sporty, very racy combination. And it, the the suede is actually on the cockpit shapes, those arches that are in front of the driver and passenger. Those are black suede, as well as the armrests and the seat inserts. Uh, the interior also has yellow contrast stitching, so it's a, it's a black, black suede interior with yellow stitching. Uh, competition seats, there's a really cool logo on the, the C7R logo is integrated onto the seat. It's actually uh, embossed and debossed into the leather, and we actually laser etch the word edition onto the seat, which we've never done before. We've never used that process before on Corvette. Uh, it's really cool because you're really precise. Uh, detail there on the seat and the IP plaque is of course special for C7R and it has the trophies on it that uh, in case you forget how many championships we've won you can look at the plaque and it'll tell you. <laughs> and as you've already seen in the back of the room uh, this edition will come with a special car cover that is made to look like the race car. It's extremely cool. And it's, the detail on that is amazing too. Uh, it's got every little thing. You can even, I was looking at it earlier, you can even see the, there's like an image of the cooling fan behind the rear fascia in the car cover. It's just it's awesome. Design packages. Harlan mentioned these. There's so much reconfigurability in the car, you can select so many different options. We wanted to put together a few packages that were special, things that were designed, that we, we designed specifically to go together in a specific way. You can just buy it as one package and everything's been coordinated to work together. So there's three of these for 2016. Uh, the first is Twilight Blue design package. So this is a uh, um, car that comes in a few different exterior colors to go with a new Twilight Blue interior. So the car comes in sharp gray, silver, white, night race blue. Uh, Coupe and convertible. The convertible's got a blue top. You get the motorsport wheels on the Stingray. I believe you've seen the next picture. So you can see in the upper right hand corner the motorsport wheels on the Stingray. If you get it on Z06, it comes with the blade wheels on Z06. All these packages, by the way, are available both on the Stingray and the Z06. You can get either one. And you can see uh, the tricolor stripe as well. That's an option. Uh, you can kind of see that better here. This red, white, and blue stripe that runs off the cross flags down the center of the car. Very cool. Uh, black and gray brake calipers. And on the interior, this is this has all been coordinated together with the interior as a package again. And it's a twilight blue interior, but it's dipped. So um, from that stitch line down that goes all the way around the interior down is twilight blue. So it's a different breakup than, for instance, what you get on, on the Z06 now with twilight blue. Uh, has mystic blue stitching as well. It comes with the uh, carbon fiber, the FAY carbon fiber IP. 
Next package is Spice Red. So this is a, a car that is, it has a dipped red interior and uh, an exterior that comes in the new uh, Long Beach Red, as well as uh, uh, Shark Gray and Blade Silver and Arctic White, again, all coordinated to go together. Uh, coupe and convertible. Convertible gets a Spice Red uh, top. The vents on the car are Shark Gray uh, instead of uh, Carbon Flash. They, they stay Carbon Flash on the Long Beach Red car. Again, the motorsport wheels for the Stingray, the blade wheels, the new accessory blade wheels for the Z06. And the interior is a new, uh, a new red that we are calling Spice Red. And it's more, it's darker than adrenaline. It's more like a luxury red. And it's, a, again, another dipped uh, color breakup. So everything from that stitch line that goes around the whole interior down is Spice Red. So it's a real rich looking interior. Um, you know, this, this interior and, and the blue one before it, uh, there's, a, there's a bit of a heritage there as well. You know, you look back and see the kind of the blue on blue or the, the red on red cars that, that uh, we used to do uh, with a completely different red interior. So it's kind of a, a cool thing to, to pay homage to um, because it really gives the car uh, a nice look and uh, another choice for red. So similar to like in the exterior, we have like a bright red, the torch red or the darker red, now Long Beach, now you have the same choice on the interior. Bright adrenaline red, or the more luxury uh, spice red. Carpets are still black, yes. The third is the black suede package. So you can see here it's a very serious looking car, very performance oriented. Um, it comes in black, blade silver, arctic white, or torch red. Uh, you get black wheels. They are satin black in this case, instead of the high gloss black like, you, uh, like we've seen up to this point. They have a red stripe, which is a really cool detail. Um, the badges are carbon flash. And this uh, car also has a uh, satin, kind of a satin on flat, black, big stripe in the, on the uh, stinger area. Uh, of the hood, so it's like a flat black with a sat detail, the, uh, the Jake logo. On this interior, this is uh, similar to the C7R edition in that it's black and black suede. In this case, it has a gray stitch, but again, the black is uh, surrounding the occupants and the, the, the passengers in the, the cockpits that go in front of them. Those two arch shapes, those are in, in black suede. Um, seat inserts and uh, armrests are all black suede with a gray stitch. This car also gets a high gloss carbon fiber, so the, the carbon fiber panel on the IP in front of the driver that has been uh, kind of a satin finish up to this point for the first time we're going to be offering that in a uh, high gloss finish. And that will coordinate with the steering wheel and the seats. You get the competition seats. Uh, of course, all that carbon fiber will match and be high gloss. So there's a few other details that are new to the uh, interior, uh, specifically for model year 16. The first is, as, uh, as Taj Carlin mentioned, the flat bottom steering wheel is now across the board. So um, it's been really well received on Z06. It's now Stingray as well. So basically every Corvette from model year 16 on will have a flat bottom steering wheel. In the Z06, it's carbon fiber, it's the same as it, as it has been. The trim plate on the bottom is carbon fiber. For a Stingray, it's octane. So if you uh, think about the trim plate in front of the driver there, it's that, it's that same finish on the steering wheel trim plate there. Also, there's a uh, steering wheel behind the competition steering wheel. Now this is, uh, if you get a uh, competition seats and you order them with suede inserts, you get a suede steering wheel and a suede shifter. So we've created a, what we're calling a competition steering wheel to coordinate with that package. So if you do check those two boxes, competition seats and suede inserts, you get a suede steering wheel, in this case with a carbon fiber trim plate here on the bottom with a competition logo on it. So you can kind of see that here at the bottom. Uh, competition logo that coordinates with the logo on the seat. So the competition seat, competition steering wheel, and coordinating logos, and both have uh, carbon fiber, so it kind of ties together into one uh, cohesive package. Also, a little detail for 16, we're doing a uh, metal, 
plated uh, start-stop switch, so it's got a, a, an aluminum finish on it. The ring around it, which has been kind of a satin chrome, is piano black, so um, it gives a little bit more detail, a little more richness to the, the start-stop switch. We really want that to feel as special as, as it possibly can. Uh, so starting the car is already uh, an occasion. We want it to be even more so by making the switch as, as special as it can be. Two-tone seats. Uh, we're offering two-tone seats again, starting in model year 16, and they are available in uh, adrenaline red, light gray if it's a Stingray, and dark gray if it's a Z06. And there's two different breakups. There's two different ways that this works. So, if you get an all-leather seat, this is GT seat only, by the way. If you get an all-leather seat, the breakup is as you see it on the left. So, in this case, it's showing a, a red seat. You get the inserts and the upper portion of the seat come into contrast in color. If you get a suede seat, it's like on the right. So the, the color is all around the outside of the seat and the inserts are black suede. So it works the same way in all three colors. Also, accent stitch packages are back. So we've got a black with red stitch. So this is the 3LT, 3LZ uh, leather interior black with red stitch, and black leather with yellow stitch. Uh, again, here for 16. The color breakups are getting uh, modified a little bit for 16. We really, really looked, uh, looked at what people were ordering with, the, with how the colors were broken up, listened to a lot of your feedback, and we've gone back and looked at the overall strategy to try to uh, have it make more sense, be more consistent as you as you go from a one to a two to a three or a stingray to a Z06. The way the color breakups work, kind of simplify it and uh, make it a little bit more uh, consistent as you go through the, through the car. So starting with stingray, the big change here is the 3LT Kalahari interior. You can see the highlighted one in the box. Now today, up until this point, that's been the dipped interior. So again, that, that big stitch line that goes all the way through the interior from there down is Kalahari. Now it's gonna have the same breakup as, say, the adrenaline red or the light gray. So those cockpit shapes in front of the uh, driver and passenger will be Kalahari, the armrests, and the seats. So now you have a consistent breakup from the gray to the red to the Kalahari. They all work the same way. So this shows you what that was that was like in 14 and 15, just as a as a comparison, and this is what it's like for 16. So you can see the color now on the kind of drawing out those cockpit shapes, playing those up. For Z06, the uh, change here is to the level three car, so the 3LZ. You can see the highlighted boxes at the bottom. Um, for 15. If you got a contrasting color, it was only on that driver's side cockpit shape. Now it'll be on both the driver's side and passenger side from 16 on. So to kind of show you how that works, this is what a Model Year 15 3LC Adrenaline Red car would have looked like. And this is a V16 version. So you can see that the passenger side is in red. So again, you've got that color going across the whole interior and really drawing out those cockpit shapes. So this works the same, try to go back, so this works the same for the gray, the red, the Kalahari, and twilight blue. Also, you'll see down at the bottom, the brownstone interior, the dipped brownstone, is now available on Z06. So up to this point, it's only been on Stingray. You'll now be able to get that on Z06. This, this chart describes how the color breakups work. Um, I've got this with me, I can show it to you later. If you're still confused, I can kind of go through with you and show you how it works. Um, I've also got samples of all the colors. I've got leather samples sewn up, so if you're curious to see what the colors look like, you want to see them out in sunlight, just uh, come and find me and I can show you the, the samples and uh, you can see them in real life. That's all I had. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, you can see we're trying to do a lot more to uh, enable the car to be customized. 
And I can imagine one of the first questions would be, well, gosh, why didn't you have, why didn't you just do that from the beginning? If I was already by 14 or 15, I might have gotten one of these. The reason is, we're, we're tired. We're, <laughs> we had enough to do just getting the car out, you know, in its basic form. We have limited resources on our team, and so we kind of have to get the, the basics right. And so we, you, you see it every time a new Corvette's introduced. You do the basic models, and then you start introducing new variants. Uh, there's a limited capacity, I guess, uh, to manage all this. Every one of these options adds complexity. Oh. Ryan's team has to decide what it is and release it. Engineering has to release it, spec it out to the suppliers, validate it. The suppliers have to gear up to handle more different part numbers for the different complexity. Jeff's team at the plant has to manage all of that. You have to decide, can you stock all those different part numbers on the side of the line? Do they have to be coming in sequence? You have to train the operators. This means that, but this RPO means that. So there's a huge amount of work associated with this uh, level of customization. So it's always a balance of, you know, letting everybody just free express everything they want versus how do we manage it such that we don't end up, you know, building a car with a different color on one side or the other, you know, if, if we're not careful and it's too complicated, it becomes impossible to manage. So we really try to level our own workload, and but still try to manage to give you as much uh, customization uh, options as you can. And you see, the 16 is a, a pretty big year. You're gonna be able to get a lot of stuff that's very specific. Uh, we're going to be rolling in when people may ask, well, when are you going to have all these available? Uh, they'll all be available by the end of this year, the, the C7R specifically. Uh, there's a lot of last minute details on that. That will be available in the fourth quarter, and you'll start to see the other design packages and things uh, shortly after we uh, change over to the 2016 uh, model this summer.